Is it going to be the click to death? <laughs> Good deal. Oh, it's dead dead. Oh, it's smoking. Oh! <laughs> I made it even worse. Dude, this video is very more skids chic. Oh, yeah. Like OG more skids. Because it's, you know, raining and it do that in Washington a lot. Uh huh. I guess it's probably raining for Quentin right now, too, though, so. Uh. Could that have been part of it? No, see, that's from me unplugging it and then driving it to the DMV with the wiring harness on the ground. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So That's, we're, we're gonna patch that, is what you're saying? Uh, maybe. We'll see. I think that comes off the fan, right? Yeah. Nah, we don't need to. There's uh, more on the other set. So, oh. uh, if you guys are familiar with my drift car, you'll know that it overheats every time I look at it. And last drift event in Utah, um, I realized one of the radiator fans was completely dead and the other one was almost completely dead. So. Uh, I've driven my drift car about 11 laps this year. Oh. So, um, I'm going to Utah. We got another drift event. It's a two day event called the Bonneville Bash. Um, also, I realize that probably a lot of you are like, why is he just acting like he hasn't posted videos for two months? But I haven't. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been busy with a lot of rocket launch stuff and a lot of work stuff, and quite frankly, um, I haven't had anywhere to work on cars and it just kind of stresses me out to try and think about posting videos all the time. So, somebody commented actually and called this channel a failure to launch. Oh. He's like, I've been watching this failure to launch for five years. And I was like, dude, all I wanted out of it was to launch an automotive journalism career and that's what I have now. So, yeah, I get to write about cars and talk about cars every day and get paid for it. So, I was still like, I'm going to try and upload like weekly or whatever. And then I realized that just sucks, especially when we don't have the shop anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, I figured the cool OGs, people that still want to watch it, are going to post or watch it if I post every two months. And uh, I made a conscious decision a long time ago when we blew the last or the first Honda up that instead of uh, steering into the Honda memes and doing shit that I didn't really care about, this channel is always going to be documenting car stuff that I want to do whether or not it makes me money, which it never really did. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, if you're here, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for sticking around, and, uh, dude, I don't even think people know about what's back here. Oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> Ross's turbo diesel Mercedes that you've been daily driving for, what, three months now? <laughs> yeah. People don't know about? They also don't know about your G35. No. Because I made a video, but I never posted it. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Ross got a G35. Yeah. Because he wants to drift. Yeah, I would like to. So, uh... It just doesn't have, you know, some important components to do that. Well, like what? Uh, I don't know. Like an engine uh, or, or transmission. Oh, uh, yeah. You do need those. Yeah. Or, you know... I mean, everything else is not... now. there's no, like body panels right. missing. Well, see, that's fine, though. I'm pretty sure there's no hood. Does it have all the gloss fiber composite? No, nah, that's just gone. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it's it's literally a straight shot into the engine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured since I don't think there is a hood, so honestly, I would just if we were whatever engine was to go into it, we would just take like a piece of one inch <laughs> square tubing and make like make a radiator. A sick tube front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, we're gonna, I gotta pull up the wiring diagram because these fans have uh, four plugs and it's because they're two speeds, but we're just going to wire it so that um, the two speeds are always on when they're on and we're bypassing all the factory wiring because they have these stupid, um, this is for the radiator fan and it's like built into this whole fuse block thing and it was, it was blown at some point. I don't know if you can see that. But I have a sketchy just strands of copper wires jumping that so mm. that I could get it to work. And um, it was a moot point because the fans were bad. But at any rate, uh, so I got to pull up the wiring diagram. And we're just going to get some testing done and make sure everything works on the new set that I bought. If not, uh, I don't really know. Ah. 
Also, uh, Cody Leach is coming on the 8th. Oh. He's flying in. He's buying our truck because, you know, we don't have a shop, so we don't need a shop truck now. Yeah. And I'm driving this to Utah again. Now, if you'll recall what happened last time I drove <laughs> this to Utah, I blew the engine up. But I got a little something in my back pocket if that happens, which I'm not going to say on camera just in case. Uh, we got outs. Um, we're not going to blow it up, though, right? No. We got coil rad. We got oil cooler. We got hopefully actually working radiator fans. This is everything I need to not blow a VQ up. And I swear to God, if it does it again, it's getting an LS. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of money, and we don't have anywhere to do it. But if this happens again, it's getting an LS. And then, then ever any hope of ever getting rid of this car in the black is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you about the kid that wanted to buy it for eighty five hundred bucks? Yeah. And he was like, it looks pretty really clean. I was like, uh, it's not. <laughs> and he was like, well, the body looks pretty straight. And I was like, no, no, it's not. And he's like, how many miles are on it? I was like, well, actually, only 84,000. He's like, wow, okay. What mods are done to it? And I was like, well, it's got a bucket seat, steering wheel, angle kit, coilovers, dual rear caliper, hydro setup with 370Z calipers, a welded diff. And he goes, do you drift it? And I was like, no. <laughs> no, dude, this is a street mod. <laughs> Bro, those are the ones you get sick mods on. <laughs> Let me see that real quick. Yeah. Flying <laughs> speeds, dude. I like the piece of wire <laughs> just stuck to it. I'm pretty sure I forgot to turn the gas on. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Perfect. This is to send the power out. To send it. Yeah. That's the Hi. wire that sends it. Either that or this is the main power. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah, we'll get there. First, let's let's do some fan wiring. Yeah, it down real quick. Oh my god. Man, the squirrels are getting wild out here, so I'm gonna give you this. Okay. Um, if, if anyone has a G35 or 350Z, I'm gonna leave this link in the description because it just took me a long time to find it again. Pro Street Online, he's got a gnarly bumper on his 350Z. I'm sorry if you're watching this, but that shit not good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have a really convenient diagram with the proper pinouts which is hard to find because if you ever like how do i hardwire my fans on a g35 and 350z well you don't do that Listen, you just need to put oem fans in there and replace the relay and blah blah, blah. this is what we're gonna do none of that shit good <laughs> blue is a yellow is b green is c black is d d is the ground Pins A and B will be receiving power together for the fan to be at full speed. Okay. For one speed, for the lower speed, it's just pin B. So this would be low speed, this would be high, and then this is just the switch. Okay. Well, well, listen, we don't need to worry about that. We got a relay. We don't have to. Yeah. We're adding our own things because obviously the factory stuff is trash, not working. So. If anybody here is watching this and you absolutely love your G35 or your 350Z, um, stop doing that. Where we just like sat down and like went into all the different like fan groups for cars I've owned before on Facebook <laughs> and just find the worst posts and then make a bracket to decide which one's the worst. Because <laughs> let me tell you, Miata people usually pretty chill. Like, BMW people, for the most part, are very self-aware. But G35, 350Z, and, like, B5 Audi owners all unironically think they have the coolest, fastest cars. <laughs> so I love being like, who does cool shit with their car? And it's, like, videos of me bouncing this off walls and stuff. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, hey. That doesn't look very high speed. I'm gonna... Should we test this one and find out? Maybe I have the pins backwards. Maybe this one's the low speed. Oh. Oh, now we got some juice. So omitting the yellow wire puts it in high speed. Oh, it's, it's blue on both of them too. Thanks, Nissan. <laughs> hey. You guys didn't figure out getting oil out of cylinder heads, but you did do some wiring. That's good. Congrats. <laughs> it's better than Volvo's. 
Oh, Skyline GTR. <laughs> okay, listen. How about you twisty tie them together and then. Yeah, big brain. <laughs> <laughs> going the other way but this is still a funny meme. <laughs> Hit it. I love the seats in this thing are like a couch. Yeah. <laughs> did it, like any electronic stuff work still? Or did it not work? Um, oh, this is from the, the murder Lincoln. Yep. Because the radio didn't work. You needed a code and then like... Does this work? Yeah. Oh, work? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Damn, hold on. Let me get a close up on that action. <laughs> Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Diesel! Yeah, and then you can kind of... Did she roll coal, bro? No. <laughs> Give me some of that spooling action, dude. Woo! I bet she's quick. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I swapped these wires on the relay because for some reason the wire that you use for the ground is white But the one that you use for the switch 12 to the ignition is black. So I swapped them um, Long story short if you're watching this video from the title uh, All you need to Hardwire your radiator fans on a G35 or a 350Z. It is the same You need the black and then blue and that'll be High speed all the time anytime you have power going to it and then what we're going to do is um, I just want it anytime the key is on, the fans to be on. So I'm sick of overheating this car. I'm not playing this game anymore. But that puts me in a rough situation if I, say, drive it home like I did last winter where I had no glass in my driver door because I wrecked into Jake's 350Z. And um, I have a Koyo Red oil cooler and no thermostat so the engine would not warm up so it was like 14 degrees outside and with cardboard blocking the radiator it only got up to like like 45 inside the car it's pretty miserable two hour drive so i mean i know having the fans off in that particular instance wouldn't have helped me a lot but i am going to put a switch that i can like go out of my way to turn it off if i need to but the default setting is going to be anytime the key is on, the fans are on. All right, phase one of the wiring is complete. We're gonna wrap this red wire in black since it's ground, but um, so that means all we need to do is apply switch 12 to this white boy, and we should have fans turn on. So really, we just need to apply 12 to it. Seven is a place on girth. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> I like that nothing happened. <laughs> we uh, we just didn't have enough power, but sounds like full speed. Yeah. Probably be faster if the battery wasn't dead and being jumped. But yeah. All right, we'll shut that off. There, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, come on, dude. It's a five thousand dollar paint job. Shit, my B. By that I mean like 300 bucks and some white claws. <laughs> okay. You want to multi Peter that? Make sure it's got the right amount of Peter. Oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's like we know what we're doing. All right. So let me show you guys how that was working. Um, like I said, here's a cigarette lighter plug. This is switch 12, which is what I wanted. So um, we're just going to interrupt this wire right here with this switch and then uh, put the switch in 
so that I can consciously turn the fans off, but by default, I'm gonna leave the switch on always, so when I turn the key on, the fans are on. So I realized that other concept was dumb. I just wire tapped it, so uh, even with this wire not connected to anything, the cigarette lighter will still works, which means when I have this connected to the switch, uh, it'll still work even if the fans are off. Going up. Wanna hit that fan switch, Rose? Purple as hell. <laughs> well, I mean, is that the brake thing? Yeah, you feel it? Yeah. It almost feels like the tire's going out. Oh, it's probably not helping. So it works. The fan shut off with the key. Let's see if the Enigma of a battery is doing its thing again. Fans are on. Oh! <laughs> We're going to throw a chickle charger on it and. Hopefully they'll take care of it. But the fans did turn back on and then they turned off, so. Wait, hit that fan switch. Ah, she waited. Ain't it, ain't it. You have to put any battery in it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna have to, just not today. All oh, right, I locked it. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> We're just stuck. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can just unlock it, but that would be so funny. Call a locksmith. Help, help. We're stuck in the car. Uh, Ross Creations or Vlog Creations did that. Oh, really? He called a locksmith. He's like, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no. oh, did I take it out or did I lose it? Oh, no, I did take it out. Yeah, you put it in there. I should probably go get a nut while I'm thinking about that. All right, well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. You can follow Ross on Instagram at WeGotRoss. Again, sorry I haven't been doing much, but I don't have time for much car stuff right now or really a place to do it. G35 is going drifting this weekend, though, so I'll have a video that you guys won't watch anyway. Take it easy. Peace out. <laughs>